I want to look at one of the lecture slides in fiscal policy when we use expansionary fiscal policy. Right? Expansionary fiscal policy. Expansionary fiscal policy during times of a recession. Right. So what we want to do is we want to increase aggregate demand. Right. Increase aggregate demand. You know how to draw the graph. It's relatively straightforward. Real GDP, price level, long run aggregate supply, aggregate demand, short run aggregate supply, potential output, and our current output Y1, right? We are in a recessionary gap, right? Recessionary gap. So the economy is in a recession. And the government will run expansionary fiscal policy by shifting by increasing aggregate demand we're going to shift this aggregate demand curve outwards right so essentially all we're going to do is shift aggregate demand out and we get to our long run equilibrium right we get out of our recession okay so how do we actually do that how do we increase aggregate demand right Three ways we can do it. First one is to increase government spending, right? Aggregate demand equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. We increase G, so we increase aggregate demand and we shift the aggregate demand curve outwards. Second is we can change the tax and or transfers transfer payments okay remember disposable income is equal to income minus tax plus transfers okay and what happens is a change in disposable income will have an impact on consumption in my previous video i also mentioned investment but that's the second step after that once people start spending more businesses will start investing more so we can keep it simple and just look at investment when you when you increase people's disposable income you will increase consumption when consumption goes up aggregate demand goes up right so what can you do here you can reduce tax when you reduce the tax you will increase disposable income. You will increase consumption and hence you will increase aggregate demand. What else could you do? You could increase the transfer payments. Right? You can increase the transfer payments. You increase the transfer payments. You increase disposable income. You increase consumption and you increase aggregate demand. Right? So, to answer the question, how does the government run expansionary fiscal policy to get the economy out of recession? It can increase government spending. It can reduce taxation. It can increase transfer payments. It can do two of the three. It can do all three. It doesn't really matter. But you should be able to explain how this is achieved.